everyone, this is Christopher Carrington with, from GMUstudent.com and today we are going to learn how to manipulate our Spry menu bar by inserting data to it. In the previous tutorial we made the Spry menu bar and now we're going to put our own data into it. So let's go into Dreamweaver. So this is a Spry menu bar that we made before. We put it in a table to make sure that it was center aligned. So we preview that in Safari and we can see our Spry menu bar is nicely center aligned. But we have this ugly item 1, item 2, item 3, item 4. Now what we are first going to manipulate is we're going to get rid of all these sub um, these sub bars. So as you can see in item 1 there's a couple sub bars and in item 3 there's a whole lot of sub bars here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the 3.1s and the 3.11s. So let's close that out. It's going back into Dreamweaver. So in order to manipulate the Spry menu bar settings, as you can see in our properties panel, it doesn't say anything about it. So hover over your Spry menu bar and then click the Spry menu bar, that blue thing that pops up, and now we can manipulate those settings. So the first thing we said that we were going to do is we were going to get rid of the sub settings. So as you can see, item 1.1, 1 1.2, and 1.3, in order to get rid of those, go to your little minus sign right here, remove menu item, click, click, click. Now they're gone. Go to item 3, go to item 3.1, then go to item 3.1.1, and go to click, click, and go to item 3.1, negative, negative, negative. So, now, let's preview that in a browser, preview in Safari, save changes. So now we see that we have a Spry menu bar, and nothing goes down when we go over it, and now it's a most basic Spry menu bar. So now let's learn how to change the contents of that Spry menu bar. So, again, we don't have our properties, hover over click. So go to item 1 and let's change that to home. So in the text for item 1, highlight that, change that to home, and in the link, let's change that to index.html. Now say you didn't want to type index.html, what you would do is you would click this folder, and you would go to index.html, and you would go choose, and it would put it in there for you. So let's go to item 2, and let's just call this about, let's get that uppercase, and you would put in your little link there so that when people click it, they go to the about page. In item three, let's, uh, let's call that portfolio. And in item four, let's call that contact. Okay, so now we have the basic Spry menu bar. So let's say if we wanted to put extra menu items into portfolio. We would click portfolio and we would click the plus sign right here, add menu item in the sub bar and there you go. Now we have our own sub menu item. So an unt untitled item, let's call that, um, let's call that pictures, enter and we would put the link for pictures if we had it and then we would click add and let's make that, I don't know, paintings And let's make the last thing, uh, let's call it cool stuff. And click enter. So let's click outside. Let's hit command or control S. Let's preview it in a browser. So now we have our own menu item. And we have our own sub menu item. So the last thing I'm going to show you how to do is what if we decide that we want a whole new home about portfolio contact? Why don't we say we have another one that's just called, I don't know, let's just call it apples. I, I can't even think of anything else anymore. So let's say we wanted to add a new heading one item called apples. Well, as you can see, our table is almost run out, but let's add it anyway. So in home, click that spry menu bar item, go to home and then click right after contact and click the plus sign. And right under contact, it made a new item. Now the thing is, let's make that item above contact. If you want to change the order of these, hit this above button, and now untitled comes before it. So let's change the name untitled, so let's just change it to apples and click enter. Now look how jacked up our Spry menu bar looks. The reason is because our table is too small. So in order to manipulate the settings of our table, click somewhere in the table, and then come down here to where it says table, and we just have to make it more pixels wide. So why don't we try 620? 620, 620 pixels. That's still too small. Uh, let's try 660. Enter. 
So now we have a good Spry menu bar. So we basically learned how to manipulate the names in the Spry menu bar, how to add contents to the Spry menu bar, and how to take contents out. Don't believe me? Let's check it real quick. Save changes. And now we have our Spry menu bar that we just made from scratch. So in the next tutorial, we are going to learn how to manipulate the colors of the Spry menu bar, how to manipulate the background colors. So thank you for watching. This is Chris Carrington from gmustudent.com, and I hope this tutorial was useful.